And how do you make sure that the folks that you're talking to, you know, really have the skills that they say they have? We've all been in that situation where they say, I know how to do this and I know how to do that. And then they get in the job and realize that they may not have had the experience they said they had. Um, when you're interviewing folks, how do you look for both the skills and the culture fit? What are some of the questions you ask? What are your like top three questions that you think really draw out uh, the person? Yeah. Um, so, you know, I would say it's hard to say what are my top three questions, right? Um, w because it does vary significantly based off of role and, and team that we're in an environment and everything else. Um, one of my favorite questions, though, is if you could wave a magic wand and create your ideal role for yourself, what does that look like? What would you be doing? What would be any deal breakers? Those types of questions. It's a pretty open ended question. Um, and sometimes people have a lot of trouble answering it, um, which to me can be telling. Um, but I'm looking in those types of answers um, for do what there is what they're creating in their mind aligned with what we're looking for and you'll be really surprised I've had probably 25% of candidates that I've interviewed for describe something completely and totally different than the job that they're interviewing for. And that's great. And I respect and appreciate that they're being very honest, right? Because we want people to be honest, but it's also telling that this probably isn't the right role for them, right? Um, so if I proceed forward, right, knowing that this isn't exactly what they want, I also am going in now, at least eyes wide open, that this probably isn't going to last long. Um, outside of that, I am looking for you know, we typically want to make sure we're open, asking open-ended questions, right? So we don't want to say, hey, have you done this before? Most candidates are going to say, yes, I've done it, or no, I haven't, right? Um, typically more on the yes side, right? Um, from that standpoint, ask them to walk you through. So for an example, I've had a client that's been struggling to hire this admin position, and it's somebody who really needs some experience in Excel. Um, and they've been asking that, you know, kind of question, do you have experience working with Excel? Well, most people, yes, do have experience working with Excel. Their next question that they like to ask is, well, do you consider yourself an expert in Excel? So first of all, I would say, if anybody who really knows Excel um, would not, very few people are truly experts in Excel, right? So to me, that would be a first red flag is if somebody says, yes, I'm an expert in Excel. Um, but to me, where we got to is, what do they actually need to do in Excel? Um, so asking a question to kind of help vet out, do they actually know what they need to do in Excel? So for example, can you walk me through the last formula you used in Excel and what did you use it for? If they can't tell me a formula in Excel and I need someone to be at above skill level, average to above skill level in Excel, pretty much anybody should be able to tell me a formula, right? And what in general they used it for, right? So asking some more specific questions to actually vet out do you know what you're talking about through this, right? Um, you know, turning it around to a solar installer, right, type of position, asking them something that is a more technical question. Can you walk me through the steps of how you would do this, right? Or what tools have you used when, you know, I'm not great with all the technical tool terms, but, you know, in a higher pitched roof, right? There's a certain way that you're supposed to get up onto that roof. If I remember, it's like a billy goat ladder or something like that that you're supposed to use is a tool that you could use. Now, I'm not a solar installer, so, um, you know, I may have passed that question, sort of, right? Um, but being able to kind of share some types of tips or tricks as far as how they actually would go about approaching that versus the more general question. And then outside of that is going to be asking more behavioral questions, right? So situational scenario questions. Can you tell me about a time when X, right? How would you approach Y types of questions? Um, and really, again, thinking back to what and having a very clear view of what you need in your position, what you need in your environment and your culture to see is this aligned with what we do? Are these values aligned with the company that we have? Is this going to be successful? And thinking about it, not just of the people that have been successful in your team, but those who haven't been successful as well, and trying to suss that out on both sides.